Allison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. So today I have 10 ways for you to get motivated and inspired to paint. Now sometimes I have people say to me, I can't seem to get motivated, I can't seem to get inspired to paint. I, I love to paint but I just can't get, get started. So what I tell people is the first thing to do, number one, is to get organized. Have a nice little space just for you so that you can start to paint right away so you don't have to be getting organized because once you start trying to put your everything together then by that time an hour or so has passed by and now you're too tired and you're like oh, you know I just think I'll do something else maybe I gotta get supper ready or whatever so if you've got everything all ready to go and you just sit down like I am here at my nice little uh, table and I have everything ready to go. I'll show you um, the way I have mine set up uh, after I get at the end of this video. I'll just show you what I've got done. And so just get organized. Get all your paper towels, your your brushes uh, all ready in your nice little container and your paints and have them all on the one little table and then you uh, and your canvases all ready and then you don't have to do anything, only sit down and start to paint. So that's one way to get you started. You know you can just go ahead and start to paint. So number two, I would say if you surround yourself by beautiful, in your room if you can, if you have a room or space, surround yourself with your paintings that you already did and with uh, beautiful pictures and beautiful books of art and art instruction books and that will help get you motivated because you're surrounded by all these beautiful works of art and it'll inspire you then to want to do a painting. So make sure you have all your books and all your paintings surrounding you so that you feel, you can feel your our art, you can feel it all around you. And then number three, what you could do is, I've done all this, so this is why I know, you know, what to do because I've, I've gone through the same thing that you go through. Um, so what I do is I've often done free paintings or sketches for my family or some friends and um, that motivated me to get them done for them, maybe for Christmas gifts, maybe just to do it for them, you know, and that motivated me to get it done and um, it helped me uh, want to do a good job so when I got it done then I wanted to show it to them and that that was really a motivation to get me to paint and um, family and friends say they love your paintings and they love to have them so that that's a really nice motivation to get you started painting so number four what you could do is to help you get motivated is um, practice you know instead of doing a full painting practice just like just clouds or just the sky or just the trees or just some mountains you know just do one or two subjects at a time and and you, as you're painting your clouds and they start to get better and better you're gonna say hmm, I wouldn't mind doing a painting around that so you know doing um, individual subjects first and not a full painting because a full painting can sometimes be overwhelming or you know um, it can kind of throw you off and you get discouraged so just if you're not in the mood do a full painting or you just can't seem to get going just pick up your brush in your room that's already ready to go and start doing some nice little clouds so that's another nice way to get motivated another one uh, that I find uh, is if you can't see, if you, if you don't want to paint, but you would still like to, to paint, you know, um, later in the week or whatever, but that day you're, you, you'd like to, but you don't really want to, go and look at your TV. Turn on your TV and look at some YouTube videos. And you'll get very inspired when you look at some of these videos that show you how to paint beautiful paintings and you just look at those and you know, you know something when you look at them you're like you can't wait to get up and do a painting because it looks easy 
and uh, and you just see how beautiful it is and how it turns out and and the artist will explain everything to you and uh, try to find some step-by-step real-time videos I teach real-time step-by-step videos for beginners so if you want to look at some of my videos just look up Alison Pryor on uh, YouTube and others that have uh, real-time videos it's a lot easier and it's not discouraging it's it'll help you and so that's a really good way to uh, to get motivated and inspired so another way I would say is number six buy a few new supplies so you know how excited you get when you buy a new hat or a new dress or a new pair of shoes or uh, if you're a guy a new car <laughs> but um, if uh, in order to help you uh, feel excited about getting a painting done go out and buy yourself a couple of new brushes or maybe some new try some new paints buy something a little different than what you already have uh, maybe a few new canvases or a few new art books and and that will help get you motivated to try out your new supplies and it gets exciting and then you're like oh I wouldn't mind trying a new painting today because I have all these nice new supplies hmm, so that's a nice one so another one number seven um, if you're out and about drop into an art gallery and if you go into the art galleries and see these beautiful painting paintings hanging on the walls that will inspire you to want to paint because you'll see you'll see things that you probably didn't see before and it'll inspire you to paint a painting something like that now I know some are pretty exceptional and everything but you can make up your own painting um, or get inspired by maybe the way the colors were or the way the trees were or the way the the layout was you know so just go to art galleries if you can and you know if you're out and about shopping and there's an art gallery or even look at the walls of some of the uh, in the stores you know there's some beautiful paintings hanging on the walls and no matter where you go you'll find some some nice paintings on walls and uh, that'll help inspire you to paint and number eight how about if you take a day if you're out and about and you take your camera with you and you start taking pictures of some flowers or some and you don't have to like go to a big garden or a park or anything to do it wherever you are even in your own neighborhood I've gone around my neighborhood and took pictures of flowers people's flowers and I took pictures of trees that were uh, on my street I took pictures of clouds in the sky as I was walking down the street and you know take pictures of your backyard or um, anything that you can see that might be interesting to you that you might want to paint and uh, I've often seen some beautiful uh, gardens where they had flower pots under steps and, and I took a picture of that you know so just stay off the property though you know but uh, anyway, you can have some fun doing that. And number nine, you could probably, I, these, like I said, these are all the things that I've done, and I still do, um, take some art classes. So you, you go to uh, some nice art instructors and take a couple of classes. You don't have to take a big expensive load of classes. There's some out there that like wine and painting par parties. Uh, these are fun and they inspire you to paint. You get to meet a few other people who are uh, into painting, and not everybody. Most of most of them are beginners that just want a night out and paint. But it is it will inspire you to paint, and um, so and so you know art classes or parties, painting parties, anything like that. Just get out and and have a look at some of those uh, paintings that you will be doing in the parties and at the art classes, and, and that's a lot of fun and a lot of inspiration. And number 10, and finally, um, you can also uh, probably enter an online art contest. Um, you know, that will inspire you to do a painting, and um, online art class uh, painting contests are fun to do. And it doesn't matter if you win or not, it's just some, some way to get you motivated to do a painting. So, um, that's 10. And there's probably lots more ways to get you motivated and inspired, but I thought of those 10 anyway, and I thought I would send them out to you. And even if only a couple of those 
inspire you or motivate you to paint well that would be great and uh, if you can think of any more ways to get inspired and motivated leave them down in the comments section then I can pass them on to uh, or you know people can read the comments and they can get some more ideas from you and that would be a great help so I will show you my nice little setup that I have here and hopefully that helped you and I will see you in the next video Thank you.